wrestling fan welcome to another edition of xpw tv you are looking at the host i'm the host how did you shut up chico you shut last up. week we got the big news right here on the xpw tv that the vampiro and the insane clown posse are gonna will, debut will be making the debut for the xpw at the retention may 26 at the olympic auditorium and chico all you xpw fan you can rest assured that the ICP and the Vampiro will be there as part 
or the Robert Black Army member. Whoa, 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 member wait, of the wait, Black Army. wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 I know the Black Army, and I know the Juggalos, and a Juggalo you ain't, buddy. Let me tell you something, in no way is ICP going to be in support of the Rob Black Army. I mean, come on, you're pulling at straws. I mean, there's going to be thousands of Juggalos in support of the ICP, and in no way are they going to be behind Rob Black. They're going to be in full support of Josh Lazy and Sabu, Saturday night, May 26th, at the Grand Olympic Auditorium. Juggalo, 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 what is this? What are you saying with this? You you know what the Juggalo is, chico? That's what my mother gave me in Cuba to get to put the water in there, chico. Take it back to the to the gas. You know, you know para what? Para cocinar el arroz con pollo, brother. You know, you know something, Rivera. You're just not hip enough, dude. Listen, uh. Aside from ICP and Vampiro making their debut Saturday night, May 26th, at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in downtown LA, we're also going to see a match for the number one contention spot for the XPW King of the Deathmatch title. That match is going to be contested between White Trash Johnny Webb and now known as Chaos here at XPW. Chaos, kid, whatever you want to call these guys. These two guys, it's an interesting situation because. They both have the skin in the ring, but the Larry Rivera does not care particularly in one way or the other for these two guys. And it will give me a little bit of pleasure to see them both beat the crap out of each other in the ring, Chico. Did you say crap? The bottom line is crap. the winner of that match will be the contender, the number one contender to face the Messiah for the king. The death match title. But you know what, Summerman? That match itself is complete malarkey. I mean, Webb has been the number one contender for this title since beating Supreme last winter. Of course, then he was known as Lester. But since Rob Black has no respect for what's right and wrong, Webb has to go prove himself again now on Saturday night, May 26th, against Chaos. That's that's completely absurd. Well, you get your Last off week, of me. we also found out that the angel will be facing Lady Victoria in the first intergender match here in the XPW Chico, right there in the Olympic Auditorium. And also, the challenge put out by Mayor oh! Mayor Gunn, Mayor Gunn to the Lisi Border, which I'm tell, I told you last week, I'll tell you again this week, it's a major mistake, Chico. You don't cross the wife of the boss. It's Lizzie Gordon, Chico. Oh, that... You know, I wouldn't mind if she she, she could cock my, my trigger any time that major guns. What, what? SPW fan, don't go away. Because when we... Tonight, we are going to show you the Sabu and the Messiah in the cage with this ridiculous content contention that if the Messiah does not win the match, he will never ever get an XPW title shot again for the rest of his career. Don't go away, fan. XPW TV coming at you. As I drool, because I started drooling, I think I'm not. Saturday night, May 26, XPW explodes at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in downtown LA, featuring the XPW debuts of Vampiro, the Insane Clown Posse. Tickets are on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations. Ticketmaster.com or charge by phone 213 480 3232 or call the XPW offices 818 755 8757 or at XPWrestling.com. Saturday night, May 26, it's going to be extreme.
clowns are down with us. Don't worry about it. Didn't I tell you that clowns are down with us? We're like juggaloos. I think it's juggalos. 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 They got it. They got it. Now we got it. Together the it's. It's. Hope you're right. Don't worry about it. Oh, dude, you know what? Ugh, you're late. Lizzie wants to see you. You gotta go to the house. She's like, uh, all distraught. Oh, what? Dad needs your guns and thing. Dude, go. She told me you were supposed to get it 20 minutes ago. Dude, I forgot to tell you. What do you want from me? You're late. I think I need someone to wash out my tongue. Folks, it is just right around the corner. I'm talking about XPW's Redemption. I mean, this card, so anticipated in the wrestling community, of course, Saturday night, May the 26th at 8 p.m., a big Saturday night right in the heart of downtown L.A., just a couple of blocks from Staples Center. Now, tickets to this phenomenal event can be obtained three ways, of course, through Ticketmaster, charged by phone, 213-480-3232. You can get on the computer at Ticketmaster.com. And of course, all of the Ticketmaster outlets here in Southern California now, deluxe tickets are available strictly through XPW. Get on the horn, 818-755-8757. Or you can come to the Palacio offices of XP... What are you looking at? Of XPW at 111 33 Van Owen Street, that in North Hollywood, California, or of course, get on the old computer, xpwrestling.com. A huge Saturday night, May the 26th, 8 p.m., downtown L.A., the historic Grand Olympic Auditorium, and, and unfortunately, you're going to be there. Acabate ya? Did you finish? Yeah, I'm... I'm Chico, you want to suck all the oxygen out of the room? English, the only talking you're doing here, Chico. Last week, oh, it, it, was it, was, it was at the scene of the crime at the Olympic Auditorium where you saw Sabu and Lacey getting themselves in, into a predicament against the Messiah and the Robert Black Army. And Chico, let me tell you, bottom line, that night changed the SPW history forever. So right now, let's go down to the ring and see how it all went down. Larry Barry, here we go. As coming through the curtain right now, you see the Messiah. You see Lindsay Borden and Rob Black. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as the Donald Trump of the pro wrestling and the porno business. Would you stop clapping? The supplier of Jew Entertainment. Would you put your hands down? He's entering and making his presence known here with the world champion of the death match. Messiah. Messiah, of course, with the current title. This one. Hey. XPW King of the match title, current champion. And you know that match he had with Grimes. I don't even want to get into that. Look at that sexy, sexy. Lisi boy, the Chico. Get a look. Good look. Oh, look at really? this. Remember last week, Rivera, the confrontation between her and Major Guns. Oh, do you remember it, Rivera? What, you about? what am I talking about? Weren't you here last week? When you make that sound, Major Chief, Guns, that Lizzie noise. Borden, and then Dorco Dude interrupted. We're going to end this chase once and for all. You see, to that man right there is the true heavyweight champion of the world. That's right. No question about that. We're going to finish it now. I want Sabu and Lazy to get their asses out here now. Looks like Rob Black trying to call out Sabu, as he always seems to be doing, Rivera, with no luck on getting what he thinks is the rightful title to go around the waist of the Messiah. I mean, this is becoming an old habit now, pretty Check much it. for Lazy and Sabu. Chico, that is what is called determination. 
intestine of fortitude, tenacity, the sign of a champion, the sign of a true leader, always with his eye on the prize, you know, eye on the goal. You know what it's called, Rivera? It's called pathetic. But these two guys definitely are not pathetic. You loser, Larry. I'm talking lazy and Sabu. Here they are. Listen to the fans, Rivera. I am not in the ring, guys, tonight. Bring a surprise to you. Right over there is a cage. Tonight, Sabu and Messiah in a cage for the XPW World Heavyweight Championship. Join any respect, Jake. Did you hear what he said to the Messiah? That's scrawny that's teenager. Since, since I'm so overjoyed at your loss in the race for the mayor of Los Angeles. You hear that, Rivera? You hear that? Rob, I gotta ask you a question. Does this sound familiar? Sacramento! He tried to, to make fun of somebody here, Chief. Let me tell you something. Yeah, Rob Black. Tonight, loser, you get your match. Steel Cage, Messiah, and Sabu. Sabu looking a little concerned about that. But, but, if the Messiah loses again tonight, he never Gets another shot at the XPW title oh, come as long as it's around the waist of Sabu. What kind of proposition is that? Yes, come on. You got a match. If not, then get the f out of here. Oye, tranquilo. Oye, there's little chill in here. This sounds fair to me, Rivera. This sounds damn fair to me. And look at Rob Black now. Now who looks unsure of this match, Rivera? Look at Black and the Messiah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They can... They might just go at it right now, Rivera. That's a completely unreasonable request. We might not How even... can you be a true champion and deny a true challenger the chance of the time? Would you listen to yourself, man? Messiah, Sabu, I mean, we might not even have to set up the cage. They could go at it right here, Rivera, right now. And look at Black. Man, he's still worried. Well, Chico, what it means, it will be another of the hundred and hundred of classic cage matches that are being held in this building sitting here on 18th and Grand, the Olympic Auditorium. Now, now you heard the stipulation, of course, if the Messiah wins, he does win the XPW World Heavyweight title. If Sabu wins, Messiah will never get to fight Sabu for the XPW title for life. Well, Chico, right now, Sabu and, and, and the lousy lazy are, are acting very, very, very foolish, Chico, because they are giving the Messiah the confidence that he needs to succeed and to become the next XPW. And look at Rob, Rob Black trying, hey, trying to hold back the Messiah from Sabu, XPW World Heavyweight Champion. And like I said... That's I'm, what I'm talking about. They are just firing up the, the Messiah. Now he's a ball of, of energy ready to take a part. If you ask me, Sabu. the Messiah is in over his head, man. He doesn't know what he's getting into. 
Saturday night, May 26, XPW explodes at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in downtown LA, featuring the XPW debuts of Vampiro, the Insane Clown Posse. Tickets are on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations. Ticketmaster.com or charged by phone 213-480-3232 or call the XPW offices 818-755-8757 or at xpwrestling.com. Saturday night, May 26, it's going to be X3. Rapping and rock and rolling is a lot like hardcore wrestling. 
you got to go out on stage, take the mic right by its neck, and you murder it! We've been doing that for a while in the world of music. We've been to a couple wrestling promotions here and there. But they was all wrestling, baby oil and wrestling. <laughs> we didn't know. We heard what's going on on the West Coast. Oh, we heard all the way from back in Detroit what's going on on the West Coast. That's Peter. That's Peter. That's Peter. Nothing's extreme without our involvement. Nothing. So we're coming there. And we're bringing that vampire with us. That Piro and the insane clown posse are coming to XPW. And everybody always talks about the big earthquake that's gonna break California off into the sea. I'm the earthquake! <laughs> you might take your shirt off too. Saturday night, May 26, XPW explodes at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in downtown LA, featuring the XPW debuts of Vampiro, the Insane Clown Posse. Tickets are on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations. Ticketmaster.com or charged by phone 213 480 3232 or call the XPW offices 818-755-8757 or at xpwrestling.com. Saturday night, May 26, it's gonna be Act 3. Chico, so the match was set. If Messiah win the match in the cage, he is the new XPW world champion. But if he lose the match, that's it. No more title shot ever again for the Messiah. Right there in the Olympic Auditorium. You know, Chico. You know man, Rivera, I've been thinking about this. Rob Black has always got something up the old sleeve, an ace in the hole. Always something he's not telling us, a bit of trickery, if you will. It's, it's not a hidden piece of information, Chico. Right now, it's out in the open. Everybody can tell that the ICP and the Vampiro are here to protect the Royal Black Army and to unite El Ejército. Come on, so man. Now, unite. Man, Chico. Rivera, you are just plain wrong. You have never been more wrong in your life, and that's a uh, tough one to follow. Listen, man, just look at it this way. Think, who can bring the ICP into XPW? How about a guy who's a musician? How about a guy like Josh Lazy? And ICP and Vampiro are gonna back up Josh Lazy, be in the corner of Lazy and Sabu against the Raw Black Army. Oui. Tú, tú sabes lo que tú tienes en la cabeza, chico. No, I had talked about that. Estás hablando de una persona, Lacey Lassie, que no tiene cinco dólares en el bolsillo, bro. Calm down. Despiértate, hey, 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 hey. Wake up, chico. Did you take your diarrhea medicine? Calm down. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, let's go to the match. In the Olympic Auditorium, Sabu and Messiah. The match that changed the XPW title picture forever. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Chico, you know what? I feel like Jimmy Lennon, Chico, the ghost of Jimmy Lennon is flying around oh, to ghost. introduce hey, Sabu. this big, title. big world title match here in the Espidori. The Messiah representing the world renowned, world respected, Robert Black. Title's coming to me. As he take on the current XPW heavyweight champion accompanied by Mr. Laos. What do you think about that? Josh Lazy is the name and of course Sabu, the XPW world heavyweight champion, as we see the Messiah inside the combine of the 15-foot high steel cage constructed here around the XPW ring. The world heavyweight championship on the line. Sabu defends against current king of the deathmatch champion, the Messiah. And here comes the XPW World Heavyweight Champion, along with Josh Lazy, Sabu. And you know what, Chico? This is memory number three for tonight. Olympic Auditorium memory number three, Chico. We are looking at the one and only world famous Sabu, who 
the uncle of Sabu is the one and only original, original fire throwing a chick. And in 1972, in this very building, had a world famous match against Johnny Valentine in the cage in the Olympic Auditorium. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to give the XPW tribute to the family of Johnny Valentine, who recently passed away, Chico. This man was a one-of-a-kind personality in the professional wrestling business. When you talk about the tough guy, the truly, truly tough guy, like Bruce Brody, highly raised, Johnny Valentine was in a class of his own. You just talk to the fan down in the Carolina area, the Mid-Atlantic Chico, and they, are, you, they will tell you about this guy, Johnny Valentine. So you join me in about two or three seconds of silence right here in a tribute to Johnny Valentine. Larry Rivera, I, I have to say that was uh, quite a stirring rendition you did. It happened right here, Chico, right in this building in a cage. Now, I elaborated last week that this building was built strictly for the squared circle. No other sport in this building. When it Introducing first the challenger, accompanied to the ring by Lizzie Burden and Rob Black. Here is the Messiah. This opponent, accompanied to the ring by Josh Lazy, the XPW World Heavyweight Champion. As I was saying, Larry Rivera, this arena constructed in 1932 for the 1932 Olympics that were in Los Angeles. And this building was built not for basketball, not for hockey, but it was built for the squared circle. And that's what it's having tonight. That's what it's holding professional wrestling and boxing always at the Olympics. Referee Patrick Hernandez doing the traditional showing of the prize, showing of the XPW World Heavyweight championship belt here in the world famous historic olympic auditorium 18 and grand richmond nine five one seven one look at this i'm anybody, getting i'm anybody, getting missed the eye chip if anybody wants to go to yahoo.com just type up rivera's directions look at this the cage is locked the two combatants are in the ring the third man in the ring senior official referee patrick hernandez strictly there only for the three count and As the are, cage is being chained up. Lock. No way in. No way out. Look at this. Look at the quickness of these two. Going for a, going for a leg sweep. Sabu getting out of it. Look at this. Kick to the midsection. Messiah going into the turnbuckle counter with an elbow to the midsection. Takedown now by Sabu. Sabu going, showing good chart. Agility tonight. And look at this. Leg scissors onto the Messiah from Sabu. The quickness of these two. The XPW World Heavyweight title is on the line. One, two, only two. Good, and of course, good quickness tonight, and of course, To win this match is either pinfall or climb out over the cage and onto the arena floor. There's only two ways of winning it. That may look short the to cage. do fun at home on the TV. It's an optical illusion. That's a long way down, Chief. The cage door is locked. The only way to get out of this cage is up and over. And look at this. Sabu wailing away now at the Messiah, current king of the deathmatch champion. These two going back and forth with one another. As thousands looking on and millions at home. And look at this. Messiah goes down. Oh, look at this springboard. As he caught the Messiah flush, one, two. He just barely got out of it, Rivera. Messiah staggered, not groggy by the beautiful springboard side kick by Sabu. Sabu applying the headlock now onto the Messiah. Picks him up with ease. Slowly, I should say. Sabu. And look at this counter now by the Messiah with a wrist lock. Both these guys keeping it a wrestling match earlier on here, Rivera. You know, we talk about that match in 72 between Chick and Yoni Valentine that took place in the Freddy Blassie cage. Look at that suplex by the Messiah. Beautifully executed. Beautiful suplex. One, two, only two. Beautifully executed right in the center of the ring. Could not put Sabu that away that easily, though. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Counter by Sabu with the shot to the groin from behind. DDT. You know, back in those days, the big rumor was that Freddie Blassie built that cage with his bare hand. With his bare hand. Spending Saturday afternoon in the Olympic parking lot putting that cage together. Rivera, I don't doubt it. Look at this. Sabu trying to go for his escape, but the Messiah barely catching Sabu, the XPW champion. Look at this, Sabu. Go oh, look at that. Messiah. What a smart move by Messiah. Sabu trying to hold on to the Messiah, and he just fell back and hit the back of his neck. That's right, Sabu. Sabu, the back of the head and the neck come crashing in the middle of the ring. And that was a close pinfall right there earlier on. Early on in the match, Rivera. The Messiah pinning Sabu, and Sabu just barely kicking out of it. And look at this. Oh, right to the cage. That move is certainly going to take a little bit of Sabu's edge off tonight. Now look at this counter by Sabu. But the Messiah holding on. Shot to the midsection. The Messiah winded. Another one. Three times as the Messiah edging back to the far side. Irish whip reversal to the near side. Oh, Sabu hit chest first. What a close line by the Messiah. What a close line that was. Sabu flying at least two, three feet. Oh, look at this springboard boot song from the second rope. One, two, only two. Damn it. Messiah showing some frustration. That's no good, Messiah. Tranquila, te relax. Look at the Messiah, like I said. Don't get upset. Getting a little too confident, I think, before the match started. I'm not taking anything away from him. Look at this. One, two. That was a good leg sweep takedown by Sabu. I think he got a little in over his head with the guidance of Rob Black. Why he listens to Black, I don't know. Messiah. Look at that lazy, lousy What? Look at that custom XPW jacket. Lazy, very concerned on the outside. On the outside of the ring, of course, for his man, the XPW World Heavyweight Champion, Sabu. Later this month, going to be down in Mexico defending the XPW title. He just got back from Japan, successfully defending the title over there. Another Irish whip coming up to the near side. Messiah reverses. Look at this. Both guys. What was that? Both guys went for the same move, Rivera. That was ballet. That was like a ballet chico in, in wrestling. Can you believe it? Both guys had the same move in mind at the exact same time, and it backfired. However, more so... For the Messiah, and look at this lazy. Talk about uber body strength over the cage with that chair, Rivera. I'm telling you, that lazy, that's oh. the, the uber body strength for getting the foreign object into the ring. And like a baseball pitcher, Sabu threw that chair square to the head of the Messiah. The Messiah is still down, and now we got our first weapon in the ring. One, two, only two. The blood. Messiah running down the face. As, oh, look at this. As the cage has finally taken his first victim with the blood, the sangre. Sabu got something on his wrist there from the cage. Triple jump. Oh, inside of the cage. One, two. Oh, that could have been it, Rivera. That was so close. Tremendo brinca de Sabu. Se parecía un cohete ahí. Ladies and gentlemen. You have two men here that are getting close to exhaustion. How does it feel, Rivera? I mean, the Messiah. I mean, he'll never have another chance at Sabu's world title after this match. No, no way, Chief. Dude, that's, that, is, that is not going to happen. You I cannot remember. see how a wrestling organization never can allow one man to dictate that you cannot have a, a challenge for this title. Well, buddy, it's been dictated, pal. That's not a true champion. And Sabu, now if he wins, the Messiah will never, ever again get a shot at the title. Oh, look at this, right into the cage with force. Such force behind that. That should be Did enough force that? to bust up in the head of Sabu. Did you see the cage move? At least five, six, seven inches out from the ring canvas. Again to the other side. That's right, now both men covered with sangre. Going for the pin again. One, two. Señoras y señores, aquí tenemos un gran encuentro in the main event, aquí en el Olympic Auditorium, en la noche de XPW. We want to thank all our fans for joining us here at XPW. Oh, look at that T-bone suplex, beautiful executed by the Messiah.
want to thank all our fans for joining us here on XPW, our main event, thousands on hand, millions at home watching. Y le quiero decir a todos los aficionados de XPW en la comunidad latina que aquí vamos a tener más encuentros, más show tremendo de XPW aquí mismo en el Olympic Auditorium. Look at this Sabu Messiah going, trying to make his escape, and look at Sabu pulling the Messiah down from the top rope onto his back. Right in the center of the ring, the Messiah is down and out, and both men are busted open in this match. One, two, Hernandez down again, only two. Sabu saying, hey, Chico, not so fast. You're not getting out of here, not yet. Not yet, indeed. Sabu continuing to stomp away at the head of the already bloody Messiah. And what the hell is he doing? Chico Rolo. Damn it, Black. He has, he has some messages. Oh, he has for oh, Messiah. Black oh. table. Black through the wow. table. That must be 10 feet. At least 10 feet. Did you see Black? I mean, he landed. And then that table. We need an ambulance. Right on. Where's the, the doctor? Is right. there a doctor in the house? Right onto the concrete floor. Stop. Oye, si hay un médico aquí que, que, que lleven con tu inside. The Messiah Sabu, hopefully now with no more interference in this match. Oh no, look at this. He's going, he's going. He got the gun smack. He landed it on Sabu. We could have a new world heavyweight champion, Rivera. I'm telling you, Robert Black was trying to, to get a message to Messiah and no broadcast. And look at this. To the entire audience. Messiah. Telling Josh Lacey, I'm out of here. I'm the new champion. Oh no, look at this. Messiah. Hasta he's luego. away from the title. Hasta luego, Sabu, me voy. Messiah is out of the ring, Chico. He's gone. That's it. It's over. Nos vemos. Hasta la próxima. <laughs> what? Hey, you remember? That, that looks That's like the guy. That looks like look the king. Oh, look at this from the top. Seven foot, at least seven foot five. What the hell is he doing here? Leg drop. Seven foot. Did you see the way he pushed the Messiah? He literally, he literally took Messiah and pushed him back over the cage. Why the hell did he do it? And what the hell is he doing here? Sabu from the top, lazy with the chair. Arabian face buster, come on. No, that, no, no, no. And this is this, this can be. This is gotta be it. No, One. No. Two, hey, it's over. No, no, no. Sabu. Hey. Still the XP no. World Heavyweight Champion. No way. And the Messiah will never ever again, Rivera. No and way. Shot at Sabu's Heavyweight Championship. No way. Never, Rivera. Okay. Oficha protest. What a night this has been here at the Grand Olympic Auditorium here at XPW. Never again, Rivera. Never. Ladies and gentlemen, I demand an official protest, an official review of the film, of this match. The illegal activity by Lacey is not allowed. Should not be allowed. You're pulling it strong once again, Rivera. This was a miscarriage of yours. Sabu retains the XPW title, and now finally the Black Army will get off his back. Damn it, look at the Black Army. A clear example of outside interference. As number one, you see that big seven-foot monster come to the outside and throw him Who the hell is that guy? But look Back at this. inside him, so was, he was clearly outside the ring, ready to come down and claim Yeah, don't forget time. about Rob Black distracting Sabu before that all happened, Rivera. Come on. Now look at this. The Black Army stomping away at the current champion, Sabu. And look at this. Big grind. Crimes growing. Getting. Robert Hernandez, referee out of the ring. Oh, look at this lazy trying to get over to eight. This is ridiculous, Rivera. And they're locked inside of the cage. Five, six on one, whatever it is. Oh, no. Big Grimes is locked in the cage, man. Come on. This is the XPW World Heavyweight Champion. What the hell did he do to deserve this, man? He fought a fair match. Rob Black tried to come up to distract him. Of course, Sabu nailing Rob Black. Black flying off of the cage, through the table, onto the concrete floor. That giving the Messiah the upper hand. Well, Chico, Why say they're even when the guy... You ever hear Messiah about, you ever hear about eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth? Diente por diente, ojo por ojo, run. But what the hell did Sabu do to deserve this man? Oh, look at this, they're going after his knee. Hit his ankle. Wow, Chico, do you know what this reminds me of? They're going after his knee and his ankle. This is ridiculous. Damn it. When Ole Anderson. Sick and tired of it. They turn on the dusty road. We got ring crew. We got security. In the Omni in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. 
officials, Grand Olympic Auditorium security trying to scale the cage. Whoa. Oh, look at this. They're taking... They are destroying Sabu's leg, Chico. The this... Army has come to this ring for a purpose, and obviously that purpose is to destroy anything and everything in their path. And they're doing it to the World Heavyweight Champion, Sabu. Damn it, this is enough for Vera. Wow, look at Sabu's leg. That doesn't look good. Oh! Damn it, get someone down oh. in the ring! No, no, hey, come on. Oye, Messiah, you know, Chico, tranquila, por favor. Sabu's hurt. Por Sabu favor, tranquila. Hurt. That's... Come on. Sabu's hurt. Look at this. Homeless Jimmy, Josh Lazy, coming over the ring. And Kid Chaos as well. Taking it to the Black Army. They've had enough just as I have. And look at this angel getting what he deserves. Josh Lazy cracking the chair over the head of Jock Cronus. Sabu looks hurt, Chico. Finally, Sabu is hurt. He's hurt bad. That's it. No more. No more. Vamos, vamos ya. Acaba ya. It's enough. Enough, Chico. Damn it. Damn the Rob Black Army to hell. Chico, why? why uh, do we call this wrestling anymore? That's it. That's wrestling. It. I'm out of here. We have to, I, let's go. Let's go.
Veronica Kane, TJ Rush, and GQ Money, of course, Steve Rosano. I have never seen such an entourage just for one competitor, one wrestler here in XPW. Oh, you're right. You know, tell me, don't forget about the debut of the brand new Robert Black Army member. Vampiro. No, 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 And no, the no, insane no. clown posse. No, 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 the host of XPW TV knows, as you no, guys know no, too, no, no, no. the ICP and Vampiro will be in support of Josh Lazy and Sabu Saturday night, May the 26th at 8 p.m. in downtown L.A. at the historic Grand Olympic Auditorium. Now, folks, we are one week away. Tickets, very few tickets are still left for this event. You can go to Ticketmaster, charge by phone, 213-480-3232. Tell them you want to be at the Olympic Auditorium Saturday night, May the 26th, for XPW's Redemption. Or you can go to Ticketmaster.com, or of course, all the Ticketmaster outlets here in Southern California. Now, specialty quality tickets are available strictly through XPW. You can get on the horn, 818-755-8757, or you can come to the Palacio offices once again. I can't believe Rob Black pulled this one off. 11133 Van Owen Street in North Hollywood. And that's Sweet D, as in Dorgo Doo. Or you can go to xpwrestling.com. What a night it's going to be Saturday night, May the 26th. I'm the host, Chris Kloss of XPW Wait, TV. Wait, we have the answer. Signing up. We have the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the host, Larry Red, I said we will see you at... Hey, the dance. where's the beef? The dance. Where's the beef? Everybody's been wondering a couple of things, Shaggy. They've been wondering what our plans are in XPW. They've been wondering just what are the clowns coming here for? Why are they coming? Well, clowns always offer surprises. And that's what we're gonna do. We're offering you a surprise. The only way you'll ever know what the insane clown posse is up to is to come there and witness it. And that's for everybody running around XPW thinking they know exactly what we got in our agenda. You don't know shit. You don't know who we're down with. You don't know who we ain't down with. You don't know who we're gonna be like this with. You don't know whose way we're gonna split. The only thing that's a fact is that we're coming. We had heard that XPW was extreme. Now we'll see what. We're coming. Tell your mom we're coming so she can show up and I'll slap her. <laughs> that wouldn't be a surprise. Maybe I'll slap her. You don't know. <laughs>